Gemini, welcome to your December monthly tarot reading. The decks that I will be using for this reading are the Crystal Vision Tarot Card decks, as well as the Moonology Oracle Card deck. Each card represents a different house, starting from your first house all the way around to your twelfth house. The middle card represents your overall message for the reading. The lines represents the elements, water, fire, air, and earth. Also check your moon sign and your rising as well for additional messages. With that being said, let's get into the reading. Starting off in your first house, your house of body, I have the two of swords. And what I'm getting from this is both of your personalities are conflicting with each other. For example, like, if you have, like, a wild side where you, like, want to party and just have fun, and then, like, you have a, another side that's, like, um, very studious or, like, um, very, like, very organized and has, like, a great work ethic, then, like, I can see, like, both of them, like, um, kind of battling for dominance, but, like, you have you have the ability to maintain both of those sides. Like, you can go out and party and just, like, have a really good time. Like, I would even say, like, just get wild and then, like, show up the next day, like, to... Even to, like, work and, like, just be ready and, like, prepared and everything. Like, I see, like, you're having a... I mean, don't get drunk and then, like, go to work the next day. Please don't do that. But um, I just see, like, you having, like, a really good balance between, like, both of those um, sides. Um, yeah, and, like, if you're able to balance um, both of those sides, like... For your second house, I have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And what I'm getting is make room for the children... Like, if, you, if you're used to, like, um, solitude or, like, um, being alone and, like, just taking care of yourself, I can see you, like, um, getting, like, more responsibility and, like, making room, like, um, possibly to share your resources with someone or, like, um, maybe if you're ha expecting a pregnancy or if you're expecting to have a child, then, like, making room like financially to make sure that you can support this uh, child that's in your life and for your third house for your house of communication i have the three of cups reversed i see that um I see being satisfied talking to people. Like it's not going well or it's not going like um, anything extraordinary. It's um, satisfying. I'm seeing that it gives you energy um, being able to be the center of attention and being able to like communicate like socially within a group together. Like, um, I can see this as, like, if you have, like, a bunch of interesting stories to tell that, like, will really liven the mood at the party, like, and also, with the Three of Cups reverse, I'm getting need to be adaptable as well. So make sure that you're adapting to different social situations, even if you're not together with people. Even if you're alone at the moment. Also, what I'm getting with the Three of Cups is see other perspectives as well. In social situations, you're very good, but also make room to like hear other perspectives as well. Make room for them to share their stories too.
And your fourth house, your house of family and home. What I'm seeing is that there's a little bit of turmoil, like um, some confusion surrounding the situation. <coughs> I see there being a little bit of chaos, like um, internally. Um, with your 8th house, it has the Empress Reverse, so I could also see it, like, um, possibly from a unplanned pregnancy, or maybe even finances taking a tone, a turn for worse, or, like, maybe just, uh, trying to wrap your head around, like, how to resolve those things, or how to balance things together, but, like, even what I said with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, make room for the children. So if there is a pregnancy, I could see like um, you just trying to figure out like how to manage that as well. Like and uh, pre present yourself in the best possible way given the circumstances. And for your fifth house, your house of play as well as uh, children. I have the Will of Fortune. And what I'm seeing is that this could be any sign. So if you are expecting a pregnancy, I could see like um, you kind of having uh, some fun with it. Like I'm guessing like um, when when's the birth sign going to be um, since you entered it. You're watching this video you're more than likely into astrology so like i can see you just um having fun with that as well i can see also having fun with baby showers like just planning everything out also anticipating so whatever, it, yeah, I'm going to say that again, anticipation. Like, whatever it is that you're anticipating, like, you're excited about it. I kind of want to say it again, anticipation. Yeah, so, like, um... You're probably expecting somebody to come to you. It could be a family member or someone that you feel close to. I feel like you're gonna have a really good time with that person. Like going out, like hanging out, like just partying or whatever it is that you feel is fun like you guys are going to have a really good time for your sixth house for your house of your daily activities mundane work etc yeah i'm getting like um like your Work to you, it's it's feeling very fulfilling to you. Like the path that you're on, like you feel like you're working towards something greater. It could be like a little bit of feelings like of, of repetition, but it's kind of like a really good uh, repetition like um, Let's just say your typical day at work is like clock in and then like you um, you go to the register and count your money and then like you cash people out, etc. Like, um, let's just say that's your activities. Well, I can see with this, like, even though like your tasks are repetitive, they're also... It also feels like each day feels a little bit different. Like one day you might meet someone that you're really cool with or like a really good friend. 
uh, let's just say assume if you work at the mall and as a cashier and like you meet your friend one of your best friends one day at work and you know you guys um um talk for a little bit and um let's just say the next day your boss buys you pizza and you know just simple things like that to just really liven up the mood and like um keep um something that would be mundane or something that would be boring like just interesting and while you're doing that like it it feels fulfilling like you're working towards something like i could see if you're saving up for a new house like you could see yourself like walking there like oh my gosh like i almost have enough money for my new house or i new car I'm also getting the word taxi driver from there. I'm not sure if someone's a taxi driver, but that's what I'm hearing. Not from this car, like from spirit. But yeah, keep out for, I feel like someone's a taxi driver. Not a, that's not a bad thing. Like it feels very fulfilling. Like. If you're a taxi driver and like you're talking to people at work and you're meeting like really cool people, like that's your thing. Like I really see that as something that you're very happy with. And like you don't have to be famous or you don't have to have like um, a fancy car or everything to be successful, but like if this is what you feel find fulfilling then let that be your version let that be success to you if it's something that you feel is fulfilling and you're able to support yourself like the way that you want to or like you even if it just feels fulfilling to you and you feel like you're making a difference like stick to that like um, I really see this as like something that you're happy with. I can't really express this enough, like just something that you feel like you found your purpose. For your seventh house, your house of relationships, I have the seven of wands. I'm seeing having to cancel plans to make time for someone else. So if you have like multiple options, even with, ah, <laughs> oh, so that's what this card might mean. Like if you have multiple options and you're in, let's just, you're in uh, open relationships or if you're just playing the field, I really see you canceling a lot of plans, but it going over well, like, you can't see canceling plans and you're making time for like other people, not in a bad way, but because you, you're exploring your options at the moment and you're finding out who works best for you. Just don't lead them on. <laughs> But I don't see you doing that. Yeah, like really picking and choosing like your romantic options. It's like you have a lot of them. For your eighth house. Your house of truth, sex, as well as difficult topics. I see the Empress reverse. Yeah, I do see this as a unplanned pregnancy.
or even if it's not pregnancy, I can see it as like an obligation, some, some form of obligation that you're trying to figure out how to work together, like with the five of wands reverse in your fourth house, your house of home, like I really see that I'm really getting pregnancy from this. Um, yeah, and just like trying to figure out the ropes of like how to be a good parent. Okay, like, what else I'm getting from this kind? Okay, someone's saying that I have no time for myself. If this is your responsibility, then take care of it. Even if you don't have the time that you would like for yourself, you gotta do what you gotta do. Put your best foot forward. In your ninth house, your house of expansion, I have the four of wands reverse. With the four of wands reverse, I'm seeing is that in it being in your house of expansion, I see you not stepping too far outside of your comfort zone right now. Not necessarily like um, staying in a bubble, but not doing not doing too many uh, things, not being as independent as you would like to be like in terms of like being able to move around and I'll just say like explore more it's like you're comfortable where you are but like not necessary. Like I said already, um, I'm kind of repeating myself. Just uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone. I don't see you expanding too much in that aspect. For your tenth house, your house of work. I see you like um, you have a lot of freedom when it comes to work. Like if you're a freelancer or independent contractor or Whatever the uh, case may be, like, I see, like, the work that you do is something that allows a lot of freedom. I feel like that's something that's going to resonate with you for the month of December. Like, whatever you can do to, like, one moment. What, whatever it is that you feel you can do to explore, for your tenth house, I have the full. For your tenth house, your house of work. I have the fool. With this card, what I'm seeing is that with your work, it's something that feels free and liberating. Like, you feel, like I said, with the, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's something that you feel is liberating and open like it feels like you found your purpose and like 
I'm seeing like this is something that you feel is like just a huge synchronicity or like you followed a lot of synchronicities there. I can see this as like you feel blessed. I'm getting the phrase I feel so blessed. It seems like you have a very open job or if you don't you're looking for even if you don't have like um a freelance job or something like that you have a job where i can see like a job that involves traveling or just um open roads anything like that where you just feel like you can let go and like be yourself or be be open around around people. You feel very in tune with the work that you're doing. In your 11th house, your house of community, I have the strength card. What I'm getting from this card is self-control. Like, I see you working well with other people. Like, if there's people that you don't get along with, but also, like, um, people that you get along with pretty well, I see you just having, like, the self-control in order to, like, um, navigate through them, like... You're at a point in time where, like, I would say your life is drama-free or you're trying to keep it as drama-free as possible. And, you know, you're, you're, you just want to be at peace with yourself. You just want to have peace and not have to deal with, um, not have to deal with gossip or any unnecessary drama I'm seeing in your air sector. For your 12th house, your house of your subconscious mind. I see you really thinking things through. I see... What I'm getting is like the amount of time that you're spending thinking... On the subject, like it's something that's really concerning you and like whatever it is that's in your subconscious mind, I see like there's a way to productively think about it and then there's a way to just kind of brood over it. But I see, like, um, once you actually face it, once you, like, look at it for the truth of what it really is, then, like, it'll be illuminated. Like, you have your answer, it's right there, but it's just something that you have to look at. Or I don't want to say, like, overthink it, but just um, kind of get a new perspective on things and like it'll light up in your mind. What I'm seeing in your water sector is like um with whatever the conflict is, like I keep saying like the uh pregnancy, like that could be the thing that you're thinking about or like just um whatever more responsibilities that you have to take. That's uh, something that you're really trying to think and, like, uh, resolve. As far as, like, your fire sector, I'm seeing, like, you being able to balance, like, your work and play time. And, like, what I'm getting is going around town. So, like, if you're going... I feel like a ride around town would really clear your mind. Like, that would help you out. 
a lot. And for your earth sector, I see you feeling free, not necessarily having the money that you want, but like having to make more room for like um either other expenses or like for um for like children for like baby shower and that are like um just uh, more responsibilities that you have to take on as far as your 13th card goes your overall message for the reading be bold and make the first move i see that once you get things together like once you wrap your head around like how to resolve this situation like like it'll go by fast like you'll get the hang of it like really quick so back to like the subject of parenting like if you're uh, trying to figure out how to become a very good or like responsible parent like I see you like doing your research reading books and like taking the time out to like really do that and you're going to you're even going to impress yourself like you're going to surprise yourself at what you can actually do this month Gemini Yeah, like, you're stronger than you think. <laughs> yeah, and this is something that, like... Yeah, I'm seeing strength. Like, a lot of inner strength going on here. Like, you... I'm seeing... With these cards, I'm seeing, like, um... Kind of, like, both opposites. Like, you're getting your strength from, like, the time you sit inside as well as, like, the time that... You are outside, like, um, two different sources of power. Like, even with um, this card, like, for yourself, like, it could be between balancing, like, the time that you spend alone and isolated, as well as, like, the time that you're outgoing and, like, um, expressing yourself. Two different ways of power. That's all I have for the rest of... That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, Gemini.